PLC Network here at CES 2016, and I'm standing next to Gary here with Corning, and he's going to tell us a little bit about Gorilla Glass and how it's making a difference to the automotive industry. So I'm really excited to be talking about the glass age and using glass uh, in the automotive environment. And what we have here is a demonstration that came from our Day Made of Glass movie to show that that movie was really real. And we put some of those real ideas into an example car here. Uh -huh. And you can see some of the features in here. There's Gorilla Glass in the windshield, and that makes the windshield 30% lighter, which also gives you more fuel mileage. Everybody is excited about that. The thin glass really helps with the heads-up display. If you're at the right angle, you can see the heads-up display. It's much brighter because of the thin glass. The optics works better. And then the other thing that you can see is various Gorilla Glass examples in the console here. You can see the center console is nicely curved from an industrial design point of view. But because Corning's expertise in glass, we can make the glass anti-reflective. So if it's in the sunlight, you can see it better. That's important. It's uh, also very easy to clean because it's Gorilla Glass. So if you spill a jelly donut on it, you know, it's easy to clean from your kids in the car. Um, you can make it antimicrobial, so if it has to be in a bus or something like that, the germs don't get spread around on it. So Corning does a lot of fantastic things with glass, and we're trying to enable new capabilities. I don't know if you heard the song when it was playing in here on the entertainment side for the passenger. It actually is coming out through Gorilla Glass speakers. And so we can make very large, very uh, small, lightweight speakers out of Gorilla Glass. So you glass. got sound that's actually coming out of glass. We got sound that's coming out of glass, Gorilla How do you Glass like that? speakers. And it matches the frequency response of your ear, which is also a good thing. Oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. If the music starts sounding funky, then it doesn't but, quite work out so well. Well, if you well, hit but. a champagne glass, <laughs> it doesn't sound so good. Yeah. So one of the big, uh, one of the things we've covered in the past, uh, when the last time we spoke about Corning Gorilla Glass, was that anger about picking up rocks in the road and getting nicks all over your windshield. This helps prevent that finally. If, well, you if still pick cars, up the rocks, but it, you're protected yeah, with the Gorilla Glass. You're protected. Glass. You're not going to have these little broke, you know, those little niches all over. Here. Yeah, that's nope. that's a big thing right yep. there because that's so everybody there, hates the little cracks. There's even some online videos about that where they actually test the Gorilla Glass. And they throw rocks at it. They throw that rocks actually at sounds it. fun. They throw I'd like rocks to do that. It. Not yes. in my car though. Uh, I was I the miss, do Mythbusters. You know, it's on the Corning <laughs> like website. That. Yeah, I like that. But, okay, uh, and it's really pretty impressive how strong the Gorilla Glass is. So it's strong. It's lightweight. It can. It'll prevent all those rocks from causing damage to your windshield. So you want to to call safe light repair all yes, the time. That's right. You know, you have your console, you got audio. So it, Corning's really making a breakthrough into the auto industry. It's very finally. exciting. It's and, very exciting. And it's funny, you know, when we spoke about Corning Glass, that was the uh, glass last time, that was the one thing we pointed out. It's just like, why doesn't Corning do glass for cars? You know, like I have a Nokia 920 in my pocket, and you can see this thing's been dropped so many times so, and it's been ran over. Do you yes. drive around with this in your car? I do. So Corning does glass in cars then, There right? you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> but this thing's old, you know, it's been a couple years I, old. It's been through you know what and back. Yeah. And here it is. It's yeah. not broken. It's yeah. not cracked. You know, that's what we need in cars. Yeah. So right now it's available in uh, upcoming Ford vehicles. Yes. And it's already been used for, uh, with BMW. That's correct. And you're shooting for... Uh, more dealers in well, the, you know, in the my, future. My vision is, since it's lighter weight and you get better fuel mileage, why can't it be in any moving vehicle? Why Planes, not? trains, automobiles, airplanes. Absolutely. You, you get better fuel mileage. Even a moped. Yeah, even a moped. Even a moped. Do you drive That's around with your cell phone on a moped? I don't. Oh, okay. I don't have a moped. Never had one. I don't know if they'd let me on one. All right. I might goof around too much. All right. Well, thank you so much, Gary. This is Corning at CES right. 2016, and we're excited to see this. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.